I tried the uh, one college football trivia, or not trivia, let me start over. I tried the tuition Dr. Pepper giveaway here at Brahms, and I text my, the instructions, I'm supposed to text 737737, the word Brahms, and I entered the chance to win the uh, college tuition scholarship. But then I read the instructions. This is only valid from October 1st, 2017 to November 30th, 2017. <laughs> Side of the road. Doing its, doing its job. Here's the seal. And it's for sale too if you want to purchase it. This is Bella. Yes. Fancy Bella. Fancy Bella. Yes. This is Karsten's puppy. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. He's a handsome puppy. Yes, you are. That does it out here at the property. Package has been delivered. Return it back home. All right. Ooh. So this part of the vlog is over. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare. And Secure the blessings of liberty To ourselves and our posterity Do ordain and establish this constitution For the United States of America You guys catch how beautiful the trees are changing, the colors out of here. I forgot my biggie camera, so I can't really show you the beauty of it. Just a quick look around. It's only gonna get more beautiful as it gets into November. All right. This I don't know if you guys can see big hill over there, mountain, how beautiful it's changing. I'll let you stare at it for a little bit.
dead end. So now we have to turn around and go back. I thought this was going to be a full road, through road that wrapped all the way back around to the mailboxes. But I made a circle around. But I was wrong. This is a, just a very nice, well kept, well maintained dirt road. At least we did it. A bunch of homes up down the other end. Alright, get that main road and go home. Very beautiful area. Hope you enjoy the shots. Best I can do. If I had a drone, this would be just so beautiful. If I had my big camera, it would be even more beautiful.
hear them working their way through yeah I can see them I don't know if you guys can just stopped off for some fuel and now I'm heading out to twist one your roads lead me out of this little valley Driving back home, dropped off my sis to her place, and like I forecasted, we've got rain, but that's not on my way too. It's on my way back to return. It's not too heavy. I see going down that way. Oh, going to uh, Clayton, sorry. And maybe the ride out of Clayton. So tw windy, twisty roads and the little mountain roads that I had to cut through to get to the interstate. Or get to McAllister's, whatever road that is. Anyway, going to focus on driving now. Dodge the raindrops. And be obedient to speed limit so I get home safely. Indian Nations Turnpike is coming to its end. I get to say goodbye to the 75 miles an hour. And I'm jumping on I-240, excuse me, I-40. And I can only go 70 miles an hour. I know, apparently five miles an hour different, but it sure does make a, sure does make a little difference. But I'll be satisfied. And here we go. On the Indian Nation Turnpike. Not a bad ride, not a bad road. Wonderful speed limit. Getting out of I 40. It has a good speed limit. Wonderful speed limit, I'll even say that. Some road construction, big major road construction. Which we gotta be stuck in the construction zone speed limits, which is gonna make this a long trip home. All right, I'm on to I-40. That's the big update. <laughs> Haven't missed a thing. It's still raining. All right. Update. The travel home. Got broken stretch starting in one mile, so we're going to be losing our 70 miles an hour. I think it drops to 55. And that's just the update. We're out there yet. We're in the warning zone. Letting us know that coming is the construction. Whoops, I fell over. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the construction zone. And we are now in the construction zone.
construction zone. It's 55 miles an hour. Cone after cone. I think this is the end of the cones. We get to the back up to. Oh, no, no, no. That's still 55. We've got a warning sign again. There's the referee. Still 55. Be patient. And they're almost free. I've already bumped the speed up to 70, but here's the end of the road construction. No more cones. Quite some time, and then it says end of construction. Oh, I got a 70. To the next zone. I got an update. Just passed the sign and told me how far away that I am away from home. Can you guess? I'll give you a couple seconds. 60 miles away. Woo! Alright, who's, who's who had it? Good for you. Good job. Anyway, 60 miles away. You got light rain. And no. Get the slow me down. It's all 70 miles an hour from here there. From what I understand. There might be a future uh, road construction ahead I do not know about. Right now it's 70 miles an hour. And just for trivia's sake, we are entering Seminole Nation of Oklahoma. Now you know. Oops. <laughs> We're in the Seminole Nation. And when we leave it, we'll go into another uh, civilized tribes nation. It's all across Oklahoma. One over the other. It's not just this unique little part of eastern Oklahoma, or central Oklahoma. It's all the way across from border to border. It's fun to see. It's fun to drive. See these little signs. All right, I'll let you know the next nation we drive into. If you know, the next nation, Indian nation we're going to drive into, we're driving west on I-40, just entered Seminole Nation. What is the next Indian nation? If you already know, them, before I reveal it to you, put it in the comment section. Uh, entering Trooper D's, Trooper Nicholas D's Memorial Highway. <laughs> Trooper Nicholas Deeds Memorial Highway. He is the one who got uh, killed when a driver was texting and driving. Okay, we're just leaving the Seminole Nation. If you know what nation we are entering in, please put it in the comment section before I tell you. We are entering Potawatomi Citizens Nation. Indian Nation of Potawatomi. Potawatomi Nation. It's in Potawatomi County. Now you know. And if you did know that before our ability, please put it in the comment section. It's fun to know who knows what. It's just not me telling you about it. You knew as well. I'm looking over there because it's raining. It's raining over here, it's raining everywhere. It's a nice rain. It's a gentle rain. I can go without a windshield for a while. I get it on uh, intermittent wipers. It's not too bad. Okay. Coming up on Earlsboro. Not stopping, cruising through. There's a gas station here. <coughs> Distance update. Oh, I had to turn the light on too. It's getting pretty dark out here. I don't know if you can see me or not. That is my camera alone. Anyway, I'm switching lanes. Guess how far I am away from Oklahoma City. Can you guess? I'll give you a couple seconds. 40 miles away. Woohoo! Getting closer, getting home. I was at 60. Now it's 40. 20 miles have passed. The last uh, distance update. I'm kind of in moderate traffic. A lot of cars coming behind me. Car on my right. Truck, pickup truck. I'm barely passing him. No, one of these. You know. <laughs> Come on, car. Get around him. And so I'm going to be the cork here for a little while. I bottleneck all these other cars. Speed limit 70. This guy's doing about 68, 67. Got one, two, three, four cars coming up on me. I have one 
guy passed me already. I didn't have the camera on at that time. He passed about 75 miles an hour. He's still moving. Still cruising. All right, I turn my blinker on. Indicating that I'm turning right or getting the right lane. Not yet. Not clear yet. Not yet. Okay. Now. the citizens of Potawatomi Nation. And if you know what nation the nation we're driving into or entering, please put it in the comment section before I reveal the name to you. We are leaving the citizens of Potawatomi Nation. We are now entering Sac and Fox Nation. Alright, now you know. Turn this down a little since Travis getting heavy. And I'll pick it back up and let you guys know what's going on. Okay, we are now leaving Sac and Fox Indian Nation. Gotta slow down cars are getting on. Turn the windshield wipers off. And if you know what Indian Nation we're entering, please put it in the comment section before I reveal it to you. We're entering Kickapoo Nation. That's right, Kickapoo. Now you know, in this one.
Ourselves and our posterity do ordain and establish.